David Long, Jonathan Orr. They're in game number two. Or able to win in game number one with the Charlotte Sultai deck. Typically a difficult matchup for Charlotte Sultai. I, so. I like the amoeba approach to the lands. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of a kind of a blob. Yeah. As it were. Yeah. His, his deck in the middle of the table <laughs> and everything. Yeah. <laughs> what's gonna, not quite sure what's going on. Yeah. Thanks for helping us out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on Jonathan Orr's side, you might be wondering why there are all those wolf tokens are out there. We're, well, it's Master of the Wild Hunt. We found the matchup for that one? I think. Uh, I didn't expect to see this be a thing. Uh, there's also a 5-6 Tarmogoyf, uh, a bunch of lands, including a Wasteland. Um, and uh, and apparently Jonathan is... And, and Epithany on Thespian stage. Jonathan's deciding where all of his opponent's cards are going to go on the other side of the board. Well, someone's got to clean it up. <laughs> so, might as well be John. And, and from the look of this board state, I mean, Jonathan is squarely in the driver's seat right now. It feels that way. It looks a little weird. Oh, I get it. It's a Liliana ultimate. It took me a second. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah. Now it all makes yeah. way more yeah, I'm sense. Like, I'm like, is he just moving around his permanence for fun to show dominance? What is going on? Well, and that means Jonathan's winning even more than we thought he was. <laughs> you know, he's got his, his insurance wasteland. He's got a pithing needle, and he's got a whole army of creatures on the board. What's this follow-up? A an abrupt decay, taking care of exploration. I don't even think David Long has cards in his hand. So Goyf is getting larger, potentially. It's a 6-7 right now. Yeah, we're running out of dice. <laughs> the, the Goyf dice is getting yeah. taxed. There's not enough sides on the die. Yeah. This is bizarre. Seven eight, it looks yeah. like. Why, why don't they have the seven sided die up there? I'm not quite sure. I, someone lost their job now. <laughs> but it's unfortunate to see someone have to go for this, but this is an attack for a lot. It's a seven ten. Yeah, we're gonna check instant planeswalker land creature sorcery. Sorcery. Artifact. There's probably an instant somewhere. I mean, I, I, I buy it. Yeah, crop rotations in David's graveyard. Story, story checks out, 7 8. Oh, an enchantment. Yeah, sure, that too. Yeah, the, yeah, the exploration that yeah. died. Story all checks out now. See, so yeah, it's an attack for 12. A little bit. Small amount. Long's going to fall down to eight. Yeah, we, we came into this one at just the right time, huh? Interesting timing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're both going to lose out on the double ants prediction for the finals. <laughs> I thought we were pretty close to a lock on that. Yeah. <laughs> at least at least in this side. Nope. I should have gone contrarian. I, I tried to help you with should've that. should have gone contrarian. Blew it again. He's going to sacrifice two, uh, two fetch lands here. Now, it is my assumption that David Long has no cards in his hand, so I can't wait to see what he draws. Well, and it looks like the life from the loams have already been removed from the game. Okay, this, is, this seems like the most lopsided game in the history. Yeah, <laughs> the Force yeah. of Will plus a blue card. All right, Jonathan Orr, you win this match over David Long, two games to zero. Charlotte Sultai going to take care of lands, and it's not going to be a lands on lands finale. It's going to be the direct opposite of that. And and it didn't look like he just, just squeaked it out there. No. <laughs> it looked like he beat him on every possible the only aspect thing, of the game. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is how Jonathan's at seven. Yeah. That's, 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 that's it. Possibly those. Yeah, maybe, maybe a Sylvan library. That makes sense. All right.